friends and members of Allen Heights Baptist Church. Pastor Brian, I'm going to encourage you today. It's Thursday, uh, March the 19th, and so here we are well into our kind of quarantine status. And I want to encourage you with God's Word today. <clears throat> I've got a few announcements to make. I'm really excited about But in Ephesians chapter 3, uh, there's a set of verses between 14 and 21. But in the midst of that, 20 says, Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. I'm really excited about that passage of Scripture because <clears throat> it's sharing with us that Okay, God's in control. God has the power. He has the authority. And so even though <clears throat> we're, we're quarantined and things in this world seem uncertain, God still has it all in his hands. And so one of my favorite verses is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Obviously it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. I've been taking this time, honestly, to pray more, to get in God's word more. And even though we try to stay busy with other things, I really think God is causing us to pause and to do these things to focus on him and to make him the priority where maybe in the past weeks or even the past years we haven't obviously and so <clears throat> it's interesting that even on our money we put in god we trust but truly if you look at our nation and we say we really feel that way do we really honestly think that way but then as believers as children of god do are we truly is that our motto is that our mantra <clears throat> and so as we read this and God's word says we should trust, then are we really trusting? So it gives me an opportunity of, of thinking about a bridge like you would go across, and all there is is just a few planks and some rope. Uh, do you trust in that rope and those planks to actually walk across that bridge? If it doesn't have any handrails, I'm sure most of us would even try to venture across there. And there's you know, a big canyon, a 100-foot drop. You know, it, it's kind of like It's kind of like taking that first step, knowing that God's in control, knowing that God's got every plank, got every rope, every handrail that we'll ever need in life, that we just need to take a step in Him, not in anything else. <clears throat> and so that's tough for us because we want to get our hands on stuff. We want to be selfish and prideful. And a lot of some cases we're lazy. And so we just need to take that step towards Him. And that's exciting. So I want to just talk about a few things real quick. One is we're launching our Gospel of John initiative. And I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> I want you to be excited about it because we want to read the Gospel of John together as a church. Even though we can't be together, I really think that, that the, the God's Word will bind us together as we read each and every day. So jump on board with that. And there's information on our Facebook page and emails going out today. And so we're excited about that. Get started today. Gather together families. Read together God's Word. Gather together uh, couples, if you're by yourself, uh, call somebody within, in the church and discuss with you know, read over the phone, discuss with them. Um, and, and even through that, it, it's exciting to, to see God's word. And the great part about the Gospel of John is you get to learn all about who Jesus is. So I want to encourage you in chapter one, and we're, you're reading a set of verses there from Jesus to John the Baptist. I want you to journal and write down, kind of like I do. I get my journal here, and I take time and put notes down for my Bible studies. And I want you to get a journal and to um, just, just kind of write down who God is in this first chapter. I mean, who Jesus is specifically. And so the amazing part about that is you write and you journal. Um, write down each, each one of those. Like, you'll find out Jesus is the light. And so write that stuff down. You'll see that he was the word. Write that down as well. And so what, what does that mean to you? How does John describe Jesus? Because that is that's John's purpose is to tell us who Jesus is through this gospel. And so I, I'm excited even this first chapter because you get a couple of names and they're big ones. And to have that understanding, go to a couple of verses in other gospels and to see uh, where Jesus calls himself the light again, or to see where you see Jesus is the word throughout the New Testament. And so it's amazing that as you do those things, it's really excited to dig deep. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like being in the backyard. you got this post to dig, but you know you're not going to bury it down in a, in a couple of inches, not even a foot. And so you're, you're going to go deeper than that. So I challenge you to, to really get deep with it. Discuss with somebody. You know, share your ideas, thoughts. 
pray by the Holy Spirit that He will give you wisdom to understand and to dig deep, to empower you to get that shovel and, and go and, and dig deeper into God's Word. So we're excited about that. The reading plan's out there. It's going to be sent through our email. And so once you be aware of that, I would encourage you, if you don't, you know, jump into this here journal method. And so it's good. H is highlight. E is explain. A is apply. P is pray. And just, just start that in your journaling process to where you can write those things down and get a greater understanding of God's word. Last but not least, we want to make sure you know to be praying for our missionaries, our Annie Armstrong prayer guide. <clears throat> make sure you go to namb.net namb.net nam.net and as you do that you will see all the missionaries the prayer guides there and so even if you don't have one in your hands there's an opportunity to pray each day follow us on facebook allen heights baptist church we're having our online services sunday at 10 30 and so uh please stay at home stay safe stay well um, and as, as folks contact you within the church let them know if you're sick or if you have any needs and we want to make sure we put that out there. Um, that way, um, as we receive information from you, that we can react. We can contact you, make sure that everything uh, is okay with you. We're ministering to you. We're able to serve you correctly. Let's pray and that we'll have a wonderful day in the Lord. Father, we rejoice in you always. And again, we say rejoice. Father, as we sing that song, Lord, it's, a, it's, a, it's in our heart. That's our heart song today. Father, you have everything under control. You are on your throne. And Jesus, as we bow before you, we lay ourselves at your feet. We ask forgiveness of our sins. We confess for our wrongdoings, for our laziness, the times that we've had that we could have gone to you, but Lord, we've just made ourselves busy. Lord, help us to reflect now, even in your word, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, even in prayer, that Father, we would think of you more, that we would desire to come to you more often than before. Father, thank you for this opportunity that we can do this in our, in our homes, with our friends, over the phone. Help us to serve one another, even though we can't see each other. Father, help us, Lord, to glorify you with all that we do and all that we say. Father, help us to have the patience to deal with one another during this time. And Lord, we give you the glory for all this said and done. Be with those who are sick that are suffering. Pray over our health care workers as they can, that, that hospitals are, are increasingly getting full and Father, we pray for this virus. We pray for a cure. We pray, Father, by your power, you would just completely remove it from the face of this planet. But, Lord, according to your will and your plans, of course, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.